This video is all about your first apartment checklist. So just this past weekend, I moved into my very own first solo apartment and I am an insane planner. So for the last six months, I would keep a notes in my phone where I would write down every single thing that I needed to get for this apartment and I would go room by room making sure that I had everything. I literally did not have anything. I didn't have a couch, I didn't have bar stools, a mattress, a bed, nothing. So I put together a really comprehensive list of all of like the essentials that I needed and no, I have not bought everything because it is so expensive to get an apartment. P.S. for anyone that is looking to move into an apartment. But to make life easier for myself, I turned that list into a first apartment checklist and I would mark off everything that I had done. And what I did was I made that checklist available for you. It's free, you can just download it off of my website. It's super, super easy, but it will help you so much. So for this video, we're gonna go room to room and go every, over everything that you need to buy for your first apartment. Let's do this. So we're gonna start out in the kitchen, but before I get any further in this video, I wanna preface it by saying that I bought every single thing in this apartment. My parents didn't buy anything. I saved up a really, really long time for all of these things. And because I planned so far ahead, I also was able to shop a lot of sales. So a ton of this stuff I got on Black Friday, um, New Year's Eve sales. So it kind of helped me by planning. I was able to really figure out what I wanted and then I could look back and look at sales. But I'm super budget conscious. Ca cautious. <laughs> it's like conscious. Cautious, so everything in here is pretty reasonable, but I wanted everything to be cute also, and I'm an interior architecture major in school. I'm graduating with that degree in May, so having a nice face is just something that's important to me, but I highly recommend, because of how expensive getting everything for apartment is, that you ask your parents or your aunts and uncles, Goodwill, other thrift stores, and you look there to see if you can get hand-me-downs on pieces, because it is so expensive. Okay, now that we're done with that little spiel, let's move on to what you need for your kitchen for your first apartment. So, bar stools. I looked everywhere and also in this video, I'm going to try to tell you where I got everything and then around the price of it. So back to the bar stools. Okay, so I looked everywhere for bar stools. Bar stools are really expensive. I could not find ones that were under like 150 for just a single bar stool and then i just found these at target they're so cute they come in a set of two and they're like metal uh and for a set of two of these it was like 120 which is so so good so highly recommend that you check out target for that i know that they have a lot of other bar stools as well so the next thing that you need in your kitchen, and I'm taking my little checklist around so that I can remember everything, is pots and pans. So I got a set of pots and pans from Wayfair. It was where I was able to find the best price for them, and they're super, super nice. Let me show you. So I think it comes in like a set of 12, and they are Cuisinart. I did splurge a little on these. I love to cook, and I got these on Black Friday, so they were even a better deal. But um, I know that Target also has like a really good starter set of pots and pans that you can get. The next thing on the checklist is dishes and bowls. So I got these from Target. I got them in a set that they have. I'll have everything linked, by the way, um, so that you can get some for yourself. So they just look like this and you see them. Yeah, so they have this like little ring detail around. They're super, super cute. And they are really reasonable. Once again, got those on Black Friday and they like sometimes do deals where it's like $20 off. Um, so look for that as well. Uh, mixing bowls. Okay, so these are so cute. Amazon. They're Amazon and they come with all different ones and then they have lids too. So if you're cooking, those are super nice to have. And then I also got these from Costco. And these are super nice because they're awesome for salads. They're like $8 for a four pack of these. And you can stick them in the oven, which is 
really, really great for if you have like friends over and you make like a type of like spinach dip or something, you can just stick this whole thing in the oven and they're cute. Then we have cups, mugs, and wine glasses. So with that set that I got from Target, it came with some mugs, which let me get some of those mugs over here. They look super similar to the bowls that I showed you. Yeah, and then um, for cups, I got these from Lame Sonoma. This was a little another splurge that I did, but um, they're super thin too. Target has a really similar version of this, and I'm sure that Amazon does as well, but they're super nice, and for William Sonoma standards, they were not that expensive. I think it was like $20 for a pack of six or eight, which I, I mean, I the two things that I really slurged on were those cups and then the um, Williams or the Cuisinart pots and pans. So if that's it, that's not that bad. Um, and then I, oh shit, okay, shoot. <laughs> Oops, I did slurge on these two. Okay, so what? I bought these over an entire year. So like things, you sometimes forget how much things cost after that long. All right, so for these, I got a set of gold ones, but Target has these. So go look at Target if you want gold things. They have, I got a baking sheet, a cookie sheet. They're like two separate things. They might be called separately, but you know what I mean. Like one has a rim, one doesn't have an edge to it. Um, these and then cupcake, and these were like $50, but Target has a set that are super, super similar that I found after I bought these, so I should have just bought those instead that are like $25. So go look there. And then um, utensils. I got the cutest utensils ever. I'm gonna start closing these, otherwise that's gonna drive me crazy. Um, okay, these utensils, if you like gold as much as I do, you have to get them. They are from Wayfair, and they were really reasonably priced. They were like $30 for a set of 20, so you could just get two of those, and you would be golden. Silverware is way more expensive than you would ever realize. I learned that, so this is super, super inexpensive, and it is so cute and nice. I love the thin, I don't know. I'm like, I'm getting excited over silver, but it's really cute silver. So then, the next essential for kitchen is, okay, so I got the, well, let me read it to you first before I talk. So it is bottle opener, can opener, um, Okay, so I guess I was gonna go up more. But what I did is that I actually got a set. Um, so, like Target has these sets and they carry like everything in. You have a pizza cutter, you have like a, uh, whatever this is called, a whisk, um, flipper, <laughs> can opener, you have so many different ones. So that's what I would do for your first apartment It's just invest in a set of them because then you get everything that you really need. I then got Tupperware from Target as well. This is on Amazon. I like this clear one. I'm sure you've seen these everywhere. So many people have them. Um, they're, I mean, Amazon would have them, Target would have them. They were actually just on sale at Target, so go check out if they're on sale there. Um, and then measuring cups. I got the Chrissy Teigen line. They're super cute, but like I said, you can get these like for $4 on Amazon. Uh, okay, then I have a blender, which you might already have a blender from college or wherever you're coming from. Um, you can just get a Ninja, Amazon has that. Uh, also a mixer, you probably don't necessarily need a mixer in your first apartment. My mom got me one for Christmas, so that's like the only reason that I have that. Uh, then a Keurig or a teapot. I got this teapot. It's really, really cute. Can you tell that I am going with a gold and white themed? But this is from Amazon and it was not that expensive at all. Um, okay, toaster, Amazon, obviously. Microwave, my apartment came with a microwave so I didn't need to worry about that. Oven mitts I got from Target and I 
they're just these gray ones but actually if you're moving into an apartment soon Target just came out with way cuter ones that I almost bought and they were cheaper than these these were like six dollars and the ones that they came out they have like little stripes on them they're super cute they are only like four dollars so but don't forget these you definitely need these when cooking okay let's see what else um Oh, dish towels, home goods. I got all my dish towels from home goods. I got this really cute gray set and then just this plain white one. Um, I have some, I have like them hanging on my stove and then I just use them when I'm like drying dishes and stuff. Um, dish drying rack, I don't have that. You might not need that. I just added that in case someone doesn't have a dishwasher, then that would probably be a little more important. Um, cleaning sponges. Okay, I love these cleaning sponges. So this is the cleaning sponge that I use. Water's getting on me because I just used it. This is from Home Goods. If you have a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, go and look for this kind. It's like um, really reasonably. Okay, sorry. It's like not focusing on that. Whatever. Uh, you get the idea. It's really reasonably priced and it does a really, really good job at getting your dishes clean. And then I just throw it in the dishwasher every time I do my dishes and it disinfects it. And then, uh, okay, paper towel and paper towel stand. This is from Target. Actually, the, both the paper towels and the paper towel stand are from Target. Um, I really like it. It's cute and it was like not expensive once again. I keep saying like the prices and stuff and how it's unexpensive because I feel like I would want to know that <laughs> when someone was showing me that. Um, and then trash can, if, you're tr if your kitchen doesn't have like a pull out trash can, a water filter like a Brita and ice trays as well. So that kind of covers the kitchen obviously for the millionth time, you do not need all of that. You can see how I don't have all of that and how I splurged in some places, saved money in other places. So that is the kitchen. And then the next area that we have is the living room. So this is my living room area. I'll do like video screens so you can see like closer in the different areas. But I, couches are really expensive and I wanted a sectional couch so I searched all over for this couch. I'll do a little clip right here so you can see a better view of it. But I got this couch from Ashley's. Ashley's is everywhere and this couch, I'll insert the name of it so that you know, it is a really light color, which is dangerous if you spill a lot. So if you spill a lot, don't get it. But I figure when I don't have kids, like I might as well go white and it's like the only time in my life that I can do it, I felt like. So that is where I got the couch and it was I got it on um, a, like, I got it, when, when did I get it on? President, I got it on President's Day with a President's Day sale. So wait until they have like a Memorial, Labor Day, President's Day, 4th of July. Those type of like stores like Ashley's have sales all of the time. So just keep an eye out for those. But this is super, super comfy and everyone that sits in it loves it. I just feel like it's perfect when I have friends over for like watching football or whatever. It'll be like super fun bachelor. Whatever's on, we can watch it, and it's an awesome couch for that. Uh, if you have room for chairs in your apartment, get that. Coffee table, the coffee table. I'm just actually just gonna insert videos, but the coffee table, uh, this one is from Wayfair. You can definitely find cheaper of this one. Target has a lot of good options. Wayfair has way more options than Target even that are cheap. Um, and where else has coffee tables? I don't know, just look online, you'll be able to find them. I felt like the average price of a coffee table was around $120. This one I used my tax return money on. So this one was more like $300, but it was my little present to myself for my tax return. So that is that one. And then TV, um, and if your TV is going above your fireplace, you need to get a TV bracket thing, which I totally forgot about, and they're expensive. They're like 60, no. I think mine was like $70, but they can go all the way up to like $110. So think about that. That is something that I completely forgot that I would have to buy. Um, a Roku or Apple TV, um, a floor lamp, 
don't have any of these yet. Curtains, I don't have that yet. Throw pillows, I just took them from my dorm room and from my college apartment and then at home where my parents are. Uh, and then a rug, I'll show you this rug. I bought all my rugs from Rugs USA. They are the cheapest rugs and they're really, really cute. I had like one hit or miss. You have to be careful on the colors. Look at the reviews of them because they'll show like more of the true colors because it's real customers just taking pictures in their home. So this one, I actually layered two different rugs. I have to like kind of pull it out, but I need to wait for my boyfriend or for my dad to get here because it's too heavy for me. But these are super cute and I love them. Okay, this is my bedroom and um, you can see how I have <laughs> pillows that don't have pillow covers on them yet because I cannot decide what pillow covers I want for them. But for your bedroom, you're going to need a mattress. I will link my mattress below. It's from Amazon. It's a 14 inch memory foam mattress and it was only like $250 and it's so comfortable. But I also got a fluffy mattress pad that goes on top of it. Seriously, I'm not kidding. This mattress is like the most comfortable mattress I've ever slept on. I want to climb into bed at all moments of the day, basically. Uh, bed frame, I got this head frame or this entire like queen headboard set. It has a bottom to it too. From Macy's, it was $2.99 for this entire thing, which is an insane deal. Normally on the website, it's $4.99. Do not buy it at $4.99. It's on sale all of the time. And by the way, it was $2.99, but then you had to pay a $100 handling fee, which they get you at the end. So when I already fell in love with the bed, they put that on and then it's like, what are you gonna do? You have to pay that then. So that is something to keep in mind, but love this bed and it is more gray in the picture. I thought it was a super, super, super light gray, like basically almost white and it is totally fully gray so just keep that in mind if you decide to buy it for yourself pillows I got my actual pillows from Costco this is a queen size bed but I got king size pillows because I wanted the bed to look more expensive that's a hack keep that in mind if you do that um, and then they were like $20 for a set of two so that's a really good price then I also got my Comforter from Amazon. I just did the regular Amazon brand and it's super super soft and then the sheets that I got These sheets are amazing and they're like $25 for an entire set. They're called Milani I think and they are a cult. They have a cult following like every single person talks about these sheets They're so good. I got them in a twin extra large for my dorm I got them for this bed in a queen. They are the best I also, then nightstands, these nightstands, wait, I should show you these nightstands. They're so cute, and you guys will never believe what they are. They're from Walmart, they're like $150, and they're actually baby changing table. So they're in the nursery section. I found them and I was like, I love that for my nightstand. So that's just a hack that you can also keep in mind. Then you can get a desk, a desk chair, curtains, um, hangers, velvet hangers from Costco. You can get a set of 50 for $9. Uh, mirror, lamp, and then obviously your clothing. Okay, I'm now in my bathroom. Sorry for how yellow it is. This lighting is just yellow. So in the bathroom, you're gonna need bath towels, hand towels. I got those from Costco and they're so, so fluffy and nice. I'll insert the brand, I forget what it is. They're cheap too. Um, I got my bath mat from Target. It's really cute. It looks like this. I really, really like it. Um, then I got, uh, you might need a shower curtain. I got mine from Target. I'll do a video clip of it right now. It's awesome. Shower curtain liner, also from Target. Um, cleaning supplies for your bathroom, like toilet cleaner, window mirror spray. Um, a shower organizer for you to hang. Home Goods has really good ones of those. Toilet plunger, pl toilet plunger. I got mine from Target. Uh, toilet paper stand, Target, Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, any of those places. Toilet paper, and then the rest I just got like really specific with. So toilet paper, blow dryer, or I just said, oh my God. Okay, 
blow dryer, straightener, curling iron, makeup, toothbrush, toothpaste, small trash can, perfume, conditioner, shampoo, body wash, loofah, and soap. So I got very specific in that section, but that is everything that you need when moving into your first apartment for the bathroom. Okay, so now you're in my laundry room, and once again, very yellow lighting. So then, um, first quickly, I'm gonna go over technology and then I'm gonna move on to cleaning. So I kinda went through some of these already, but TV, Apple TV, Roku, your computer and laptop, Wi-Fi router, and then chargers and speakers. So those are just kinda some random things to pack with you and make sure you don't forget. And then for cleaning, these are like some of the main staples. So laundry detergent, this is the best smelling laundry detergent ever. It's from Target. Laundry detergent's way more expensive than I ever thought it was, by the way. It is not cheap. It's like $10 for each one, maybe even more. I got um, uh, Downy, you can get the Downy Wrinkle Releaser, which is a spray and gets out wrinkles. It's amazing. It's like magic, but these, <laughs> I don't know why I picked these up. Okay, dryer sheets you also need. Laundry bags for like your bras, underwear, more fragile things. Um, trash bags, I got the vanilla smelling ones from Target. They are so good. All purpose cleaner, I also, I should go grab those. I'm gonna go grab those, hold on. Okay, so I got this all purpose cleaner from Target. Uh, you can use this on your counters, everywhere really. It's all purpose cleaner, so there is no limit to that one. Um, then paper towels I got from Target. I got the Viva brand because I like how it feels like cloth. Uh, the vacuum, I got that from my boyfriend's parents. It's like one of those like um, Dyson's without a cord. It is amazing. I've been dreaming about it forever. I think it's the nicest gift I've ever received. It was so, so nice of them. Um, Dawn soap, which is under my sink in my kitchen. A broom and a dustpan. Hamper, I got my hamper from Home Goods and it's super cute. Um, then soap for your bathroom and kitchen, and a toilet brush. So for this last section, I changed location so that the lighting was better, but this is just random stuff. So a key hook, a flashlight, toolkit. I got a really good toolkit. It's like pink, but it was um, cheaper from Amazon, and it was awesome, especially for moving in. We used it all the time. Um, batteries, light bulbs, fan, a space heater, garbage bags, candles, wall art, picture frames, rugs, coat rack, doormat, lighter, scissors, tape, stapler, which is a lot of things that you do not need right away. So that is it for my apartment packing list and my first apartment checklist. Definitely go print this out. It is awesome and will really make sure that you stay on track. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, I have so many great videos coming up, especially if you're moving into a first apartment or if you just like cleaning, organizing, decorating. I have it all for you. Have a great day, bye.